welcome to my channel. I have a terrific recipe for you today. It's my non bread recipe that is light and fluffy and soft. And oh my God, is this a delicious bread. I will have all of your ingredients listed below. So without further ado, let's get started. So in my measuring cup, I have warm water. It's 150 degrees and I'm adding in active yeast and I'm gonna also add in a teaspoon of sugar. And the sugar activate, it actually feeds the yeast so that it'll bloom and then you know if your yeast is good or not. So I'm just gonna set that aside in my mixing bowl. I have flour, I have the remaining part of the sugar, I have salt, and now you see that the yeast has bloomed and so now I'm adding that to the mixture. I'm adding in some yogurt and then I'm gonna add in some extra virgin olive oil. You guys, this is such a nice bread and it is so good with curries and stews. Um, if you have not tried naan bread, you should try it. It is really yummy, yummy, yummy. And you can do many different things to the bread to make it to your liking or, or change the taste. So I'm scraping down the sides. Whenever you're baking or anything like that, you definitely wanna scrape down your sides to make sure everything is well incorporated. And now we have this wonderful dough. So now I, since I've done a lot of the kneading in my stand mixer, I don't have to do as much, but I'm still gonna have to still work the dough to get the gluten going in this dough. And so what I'm looking for is for me to be able to put my finger into a ball that I will create with this dough and get a bounce back. So it's like the dough will just spring back to the original shape. It won't stay indented and that's what it's doing. So now I have a bowl that has neutral oil and I'm juicing around the dough uh, just to make sure that it doesn't form a crust on it. And so I'm covering it and I'm gonna set it aside until it doubles or triples inside. That's gonna be about an hour or two, um, depending on how well your yeast is acting. So in the meantime, I have melted down some ghee and I have, I'm adding in some garlic. And I'm gonna use this to brush over the bread after I have, um, after I fry it. Or, yeah, fry it. <laughs> so, in, so as you see, my dough rolls very well. So now I'm just doing a light knead again. And I'm gonna cut this into, it should be six pieces, but I think I got kind of carried away and <laughs> made more than six. So anyway, this is how I cut it. So in half, in half, in half. So from, the, from there, I take and I make little balls. And then I'll set them aside. Now, you want to cover the balls after you create all of them, which you'll see I'll have a towel over to the side because I don't want them to dry out before I finish rolling them out. So here we go. So now I have... I have rolled it out and I have that cilantro that I had cut up earlier that you seen. And so I'm adding it into the bread. Now you do not have to add that in your, in your bread. You can have it plain. You can put other different things in there um, to make the bread to your liking. So I wanted cilantro and uh, garlic. And I'm also gonna use some cumin seeds as well. And I'll show you the, that as well. So I'm just giving you a what you want to do is roll them into an oblong shape. And you you definitely have to use a lot of flour to because it stretches a lot. So next, you know, I, I'm not going to show you me rolling out all of these because, you know, I try to keep the videos to five minutes. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. If you have not given me a thumbs up, do that. I need those thumbs up. So anyway, in my cast iron that I have hot or I don't have hot enough, but what we're looking for is the dough to start forming the little bubbles on the top. And this is the traditional way that it's done, but they usually do it in a, a, a oven that we do not have here in the States. So we have to 
make it happen or we don't or restaurants probably have it but we just don't have it in our homes so anyway that's why i'm using a cast iron skillet because i know it gets i can get it really really hot to mimic those ovens so you know you do want to have a little if it has a little char on there that's fine that's normal for this dough so now i'm showing you me brushing it with the lovely garlic butter and you don't have to put garlic in there. You can, you know, like I said, whatever pleases your tongue and your palate, that's what you do. Um, but I wanted garlic and, and, and ghee. So, and if you don't have ghee, you can use regular, regular butter. That's fine as well. You do not have to use the oil if you don't want to, but I think it makes it, I don't know. I think it makes the edges a little bit more crispy. And I like it, but of course it's adding more calories if you're watching your weight, but I'm not. <laughs> so. so anyway, this is the bread all completed. You guys, isn't it lovely? This is an awesome bread. You should try this recipe. I love to hear your comments on tag me in some photos, you know, if you do it on Instagram or something, but in the meantime, I like to tell you, thank you for watching and enjoy 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 don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe so that you can get all of my new videos thanks for watching goodbye